Hey guys, take a minute with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to save contacts on your iPhone on the latest iOS version. We're going to show you a couple different ways you can do that. And finally, at the end, we're going to show you a bonus way, which is the most fun and the easiest way to do contact sharing. It's a new way on iOS 17. So let's get started. So when it comes to saving a contact for the very first time, if you're new to iPhone, it's going to be really simple. You're going to open up the contacts app, which is a default app on your iPhone. You're going to go ahead and open it up. And once you open it up and you just click on that plus icon up top here, and then you'll be prompted to even add a photo, the first name. Let's say we're going to add someone's name, Joe, Mo, whatever the name is. And then here, as you can see, add number, you can add their phone number. So you can just say whatever the number is, hit the done option. And now we have added a contact here. If we go back to our contact list here, you can see here we have just added a contact, simple as that, to our iPhone. Now that's the easiest method. Now the second way you can do it is through the actual app itself here on your phone here, the phone app. Again, if you open it up, what will happen is there's a couple ways to do it. First option is the contacts app is also here. So whatever you saw in that app that we open up, it's also built into your phone app. And same thing, you can click on the plus icon, add their first name, last name, or just first name, and then add their number, any other details you like to add as well. Now, the other method you can do is that if you're on this list here, you, there's also a recent one. Let's say someone called you recently or you call them. You can click on that I icon up top here and then you can actually add that to your contact or existing contact. If you already have that person on your phone, maybe they got a new number, you can add that. Or if you like to create a new contact, you simply click on that. Again, same thing, add their info like first name, last name, and then that number's already there for you and you'll hit done and it will get added to your contact list as well. Now, the next way to do it is that if you have one, let's say someone, you're on the phone app and someone's giving you the number, you're dialing it in. So you, let's say you dial the number. What will happen is after you dial that full number, you'll get this add number option. So you click on that add number. When you do that, again, there's two options available. You can add a new contact or add it to existing one and the same process will follow. You go ahead and click on this and add the details like you would. And then after you do that, you go ahead and save it to your contacts. So that's another way to do it as well. Now, let's say maybe someone texted you the number or you found this number online. It's a text form like the one that I have here as an example in my notes here, right? I have this number, maybe someone messaged to you, to you or you're reading it somewhere, you're going to save it. All you'll do is press and hold that icon right here, like the number itself. And your iPhone automatically knows that it's possibly a number so that you can add it to your contacts and this menu will pop up again. All you do is press and hold and then add to contact and the same exact thing will happen. You can add to exist, add a new contact or existing contact, fill in the detail, hit done and you'll be able to add another contact just like that. Now let's get into probably the most easy and the fun way to get a contact for someone. Now this is going to be applicable if you have an iPhone on iOS 17 or later and the person that you want to share the contact with has iOS 17 or later as well. What will happen is if you both have iOS 17 and an iPhone, all you do is actually just simply hold the phones together so that they can actually share the details. So what will happen is if you have a phone with a friend or a colleague or whoever it is, simply just bring the phones together just like that and hold it briefly for a moment. So sometimes it, this takes, again, a minute or two, or sometimes you can do it from the top as well, as you can see here. And it will ask you if you like to share the information. So if they have a contact information, you can simply click on share. And then uh, if you do that share option, and both of you will be able to exchange your contact information with their name and email and whatever information they have listed on their, their card information. So that information that gets shared is from the contacts app under my card, whatever listing that they have in my contact, my card on the contacts app, that information will get shared between both of the iPhones and you'll be able to save their contact information. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful and I want to hear from you guys as well. If there's another way that you like to save contact, leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.